Hell yeah. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Skinny Nerd. And your boy, Fast World. And, and tonight, we're going to bring you, uh, we're bringing you ICW No Host Bar. Yes. Because also, King of the Death Matches is coming up, so we're going to stuff for the Go. Yes. Get it out, score. Your first, your first round match is Hood Foot versus Bojack. And I'm, look, I'm looking at both competitors, and I'm leaning towards Hood Foot. Nice. Because he did at the end of the pay per view that he's put an American Deathmatch Championship on the line in every match he, bat- he fights in battle with the tough guys. Well, I'm not too familiar with the Bojack coach. He's a pretty good guy. I've seen him a couple of times. He's putting his belt on the line, so we know he, he, he's a hard fighter. He's a fighting <laughs> This night will be the night that Hoodfoot loses the belt. But I got Hoodfoot over Bojack in the first round. So, your next match is Chris Bradley versus Christian Roth. Oh, God. Here we go again. So, I'm taking the boy Bradley over Roth. We're going to round two. I got one. I'm gonna disagree with you on that one, cousin. I got Ross going. I got Ross over Bradley going round two. Well, well, I don't, I don't see it happening, but it'll be worth a chance. True, true. It's got, gonna happen. Now you got Bishop <coughs> and you got Kathleen. Now Bishop's a big motherfucker. He, he put girl up on his shoulders and threw a girl like he was paper. Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen that. And, uh, yeah, I've seen that. Kaplan's the character in itself, so we're not taking on this one. And if I'm not mistaken, these two men have hooked up before. I'm going to go with Kaplan. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So you got Kaplan going second round? Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you. I'm gonna go with that bishop dude, like you said. He stood up and was throwing cruel around. Not many men can throw cruel around like that. I'm sorry. Oh, so he gotta be some powerful motherfucker if he can do that. That's a good prediction. I take that. I take that. It's so bad. But your next match, skinny moves, is Kevin Coon versus MM3. Now, we know a lot about MM3 and his night night juice. <laughs> yes. You know that MM3 is good at just about anything. Flying hybrid. Um, he's a good groundsman. He can do just about any type of wrestling. Now, Kevin, Tony Moore is like a technical wrestler, I would say. I've seen, I've seen him in a couple death matches. Yeah, a couple. I've seen him in a couple death matches. But going into the round two, we know it's gonna be in three. I'm gonna agree with you. I got this. I got. I'm gonna agree with you on that. So I got him in three, going into the second round two. And your next match after that is another first round match, and it's Brandon Kurt versus Kobe Carino. Oh. So we had Kobe. just so I make myself just just I don't know about my skinny Lucy's point of view, but at this point in this match, I really don't give a fuck who wins because I don't like the whatever. I, I, Kobe, um, he he's with the WWE, I think, and now he's back or whatever. That's a story, but um, we got Kurt in the six. So with that being said, I'm taking Kurt over Kobe Kareem. I'm agree with you that because I also took Kurt to like, you know, like he did stand up for Danny. I mean, I can't, I can't take away from you. I mean, motherfucker will fight. So. <laughs> well, we got Tommy Vendetta versus Hardway Heater. Ooh. 
Tommy Vendetta, the other part of the pillars against Hardway Heater. Damn. Who are you taking there? Well, I'm going to have to go with the boy, nothing against Hardway, but I'm going to have to go with the boy Tommy. Like, since he's won that strong crap, bro, he's been on the road, my man. The boy, he been, he been trying to kill it. I got the boy Tommy myself, so. I'm going to have to go with Tommy, too. Hell, yeah. But we also have Fremont versus Jaden Newman. For the third time, like you were talking about, in my study month. Out of all these men, you mean to tell me they might put my one again? Like, a, you know, MM3, Kevin Koo. But, I got to tell you about bro. But we know Tremont ain't gonna lose. I'm gonna agree with you on that. Nothing against Newman. But I got I got two going into the second round too, bro. So. So speaking about that, I think I figured out why we're going to teamed up. What do you mean? So the treatment. At first, last video, I was saying that Cruel teamed up with Tremont. No, I take it back. I think Tremont teamed up with Cruel to get this ICW. NHB American Deathmatch belt because Reed Bentley turned him into a heel and said that he was doing too nice all the time. True. So I went ahead and I was thinking and I was like, Tremont, you know, started working for Cruel or, you know, help, uh, Cruel's helping Tremont get over them. So I have Tremont beat Jaden. That's true. That's, that's, that's true. I'm going to agree with you on that same sense because you got to realize, bro, where, where, where Tremont is, I guarantee Cruel's somewhere around there. They hang out. You know, they together or whatever. They a group or whatever you want to call it now. Exactly. <laughs> or whatever. They partners. So you, you got a point. But like I said, look. Like, I'm going to take Kill Dozer because, like he said in one video, before the end of 2023, bro, he will have a strap. So, I'm going to go with the boy Trima. I'm going to agree with you on that one. Your last first round match is Mikowski versus Dominique Garini. Okay, Dominique Garini is Dominique Romero's. Long lost coach. <laughs> so I got and Mikowski is um Mikowski. Yeah. I, I agree with you on the none gets Dominic Garini because him and uh uh if I'm not mistaken it's Kevin Koo. It's balance is forever, but they were tag team champions for a long time. Wasn't Garini and uh, H2O the other day? No, that was De Niro. Or was he? They're cousins. Now y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> That's De Niro. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm also taking Mikowski because Mikowski, bro, just put on one hell of a match against motherfucking Alec Price at motherfucking Uncharted last week, boy. That shit was, bro, that shit was awesome. So. Did you get to watch that shit? Your second round on my map card, my bracket. Their brackets is uh, Hoodfoot versus Chris Brad or uh, Chris Bradley. So I got Hoodfoot beating Bradley. Well, on my side of my bracket, I got Hoodfoot and Ross in second round, and I also have Hoodfoot beating Ross to go into the final round <laughs> or the third round. I got uh. 
for my second match, I got MM3 versus Kaplan with MM3 beating Kaplan. Oh yeah, okay. I got it. I got it. Bishop versus MM3, and I also got MM3 going to the next round. Oh shit! Oh shit! So what you got over in your side? I got first round. I got a uh, Kirk and Tommy going in that second round, oh, and I got shit. Tommy. Yeah. I got Tommy being Kirk. <coughs> You got Tremont Bankers and Mowalski. I got Killdozer taking it. I got Killdozer taking beat Mikowski, bro. Sure. Hell yeah. So, Richard versus MM3. Don't come playing. It's going to be us, but I'm sorry, I'm in three, but. And if the bracket, if you think about this, and and this is hypothetically, that's as far as our predictions, but if it ends up like this, you realize in the finals, in the third round, both pillars will be in the third round. That's true. But with you saying that. Fighting two of the best. Fighting. Really, that's getting ready to fight the belt. Sorry, the pillar. Hoodfoot has to face MM3. Tommy has to face Killdozer. The oh, pillars yeah. lose. It'll boil down to Tremont and Hoodfoot. Tremont will take that belt. Cool yep. step in and help him. I'm calling on it now, ladies and gentlemen. Tremont. Tremont. I'm okay. I'm gonna agree with you on that and, and, and take Killdozer going because Tremont has said that in the year he's getting a belt. And you gotta think, by the time Hoodfoot gets to the finals, he's done fault as many times as Tremont, but he's also had to put the strap on the line. Yes, yes. See, but my odd question is, is this. Say by some fucked up way, he either loses in the first or second round. Does the belt still get put on the line for the rest of the tournament? Or does, because Hoodfoot's not champ, does it stop? I'd say put the motherfucker on the line. Right then and there. Show your fighting champion. But I got as He's gonna lose it to Bradley. There's so many ways this thing could end, bro. But, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear your That's the beauty. Yes. I will leave y'all with this. I will leave y'all with this. You come check out Deathmatch Avengers. Yes. When you come to check out Deathmatch Avengers, you're going to see blood. You're going to hear screaming. You're going to hear a lot of stuff that you normally don't hear in a podcast. But come yes. to Yes. Yeah, of course. Fast girl out. <laughs> <laughs>